And then I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. So now it's ready to be hit. We'll go ahead and aim at that guy. And bam. There it goes. Pretty good shot. <laughs> oh, it actually rolled. Whoa, it's still rolling. It's like way over there. Hello everyone, Funshot X here. Welcome back to Scrap Mechanics. Today we are going to play around with the weights of blocks and talk about how we can measure them and how we can change them. Now if you notice my character uh, got a haircut. <laughs> I was playing with a female character and uh, messing around with her head texture and now she's got a buzzed head. So maybe I've got a blonde man now with a very feminine face. Don't ask me. Um, this is... Uh, highlights uh, something very important. If you're going to mess with any of the data files in the game, back them up or you might be a buzzed head forever. Uh, well, if that does happen, you can also always go to Steam and delete your local copies of the files and re-download them and get back to normal. Um, but back up, back up, back up. So I'm going to go out of Scrap Mechanics here and show you some things in the data files and we'll talk about weights of blocks. A lot of people have created like scales or done complex math and weighed things in game to try and find out how much blocks weigh. And it's important. You want to know how to balance your crafts and, you know, how many things you can lift and all kind of stuff. But this is a really easy way to find out how, how much stuff weighs. If you go into your scrap mechanic um, under Steam and go to data, objects, database, and then open up basic materials. This is where all of your blocks are. We've seen this file before in a previous video when we added the insulation, the indestructible, and the spaceship block into the game. Um, but if we also look in this file, we're going to see a value called density. And if you look at wood planks, they have a density of 250, and metal has a 1250. And that's pretty much the only two values you'll ever see in these files for density. And how these correspond in game is anything that says it is light weight has a density of 250. Anything that says it's heavy has a density of 1250. Now how do we go from density to weight? Well all density is a measurement of, of weight per block or per cube. So because building blocks are all one by one by one they just have a, a volume of one so to get the weight you just times the density by one and you get the, the you know the weight. So that means that wood blank wood wood planks weigh 250 Metal weighs 1250. Five, me five wood equals one metal. One caution equals one wood. It's, you know, it's, it's really easy. The calculations are a piece of cake. You know, a lot of people are getting it's like it's like 5.39 wood blocks. And the, if they really did that, the game would be, it would just have a lot more calculations. Why not do a simple calculation of just 250, you know, five to one? Anyway, what about medium weight? Right, we we look in game and we see things. Some things say medium, uh, and some of these blocks in here don't have a density. Well, internally the game has a default density for any block of 500. So anything that says medium uh, will likely not have a density listed in the files, and you can just assume it's 500 uh, as far as it's, was weight. So things like tiles weigh 500, things like concrete weigh 500. So two wood equals one concrete. Uh, so that's, that's that. <laughs> now, if we want to go look at something more complex, let's open another file. Um, we can look at, uh, under shape sets, let's look under containers. And these are things like the veggie container. Um, the wood block or wood box here, you can see it has a no density at all. So that means it would be the default density of 500. And it also has a area or a volume, excuse me, a volume of three by two by two. Uh, and that's kind of shown in that this is the collider mesh, you know, how the b block bounces off other blocks. You know, this is the size basically. Um, but anyway, so you take that volume, 3 by 2 by 2, which is 12, 12 units, multiply it by the density of 500, and you get something like 6,000. So one wood box weighs about 5 metal. I think that's right. Close to it. Close enough. <laughs> you know, you're not going to get exact measure, you know, um, when you start multiplying these out. But anyway, so that because the uh, veggie box is heavier, four by two by three, it's um, in, it's and it's got a lot bigger density. It's twelve fifty density. It's going to weigh a lot more than the wooden box. 
Okay, so we've seen how to calculate weights and measurements and all that kind of stuff. Um, there are a few blocks that have no density and no weight at all. Um, so those are kind of the exceptions, um, but we won't really mess around with those. Let's go and modify something. So if we're back in basic materials, let's take something heavy like wood, or I mean like metal, 1250, and let's change its density down to one. That means we just now 1250 metal blocks weigh the same as as one metal block normally weighs. So all I have to do is change that density to one and hit save and open up scrap mechanic and let's see if it has any effect inside the game. Let's do a new game, creative, we'll call it weight testing and we'll make it a flat world. got it and let's just go ahead and put like a little uh structure here and let's get bricks which remember were 1250 right we're bricks 1250 i want to get something to measure it against yeah bricks 1250 okay and then metal there we go now there's actually a bug with bricks if you look at bricks they say medium weight but in the other game files they they have a density of 1250 so there's actually a bug with bricks uh, but yeah, so let's put a brick up here. Let's just do two so we can be thorough with our testing and let's put two metal blocks here and just go ahead and get rid of this block. So they're now all separate blocks. And for our control test, we'll go ahead and hit this brick and bonk. That's how far you can hit a, a heavy block. And that went a little bit further, but you can see it's, it's about that far. Now let's hit our metal, which remember we changed the density to be one, you know, and go and hit it. Holy crap! <laughs> and I can still see it falling. Poof. <laughs> and let's hit this one just to make sure it wasn't a... I didn't even see that where that one went. That one's gone. But you can see that, yes, changing the density does have an effect on how the physics in the game, you know, calculates um, not only, you know, how much it weighs, but how far it flies when you uh, put force on it. So <laughs> that's really cool. Um, and you could do the same thing with a lot of other stuff. You can make thrusters weigh very little, and that way you can add thrusters wherever you need and not have to worry about themselves unbalancing your flying ship or whatever. Um, you can make your wheels weigh nothing. <laughs> uh, well, as far as weighing nothing, I've tested as far as 0 .001, but when I hit a metal block with that kind of um, thing, it went through the invisible wall and out into the boonies somewhere. I couldn't even get to where it landed. Um, so I wouldn't do it. If you if you put a block down to zero density, it will crash your game. And if you put it into negative density, um, it's it creates a black hole. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that, and you guys can try it if you want. Back up your game. Don't use it in any world where you care about. And that's another thing to mention, is the, changing these values affects all worlds globally. So even though I'm playing around in a test world here, if I went back into another world, all my metal would weigh one instead of 1250, and it might mess up my cars and all that kind of stuff. So uh, be careful when you mess around with this stuff. Uh, but that's how you do it. Now, let, this kind of has an implication, and I want to create uh, a little mini game with it. So let's go ahead and close Scrap Mechanics and come back. Well, we can get rid of basic materials. I don't really care about that anymore. And the, the container file. Let's go into interactive debt, Jason. And here's all the mo these are all the blocks that you can actually like open up a GUI for. And in the last patch, they added horns to the game. And horns are pretty cool. You can set them to different uh, uh, tones and make music and kind of stuff. But the horn block is the only real block in the game that's kind of round. All the other blocks are cubes or flat or rectangles and kind of stuff. The horn is really the only round block. So I'm going to use it. Uh, and it's also an interactive block, which I'm also going to take use of. But I want to co a, co a copy of the horn. So I'm going to copy this whole section and I'm going to paste it down and I'm actually gonna paste it four times I think I did it four times um, what I want to do is I want to have I want to leave the normal horn intact I don't want to um, modify this one so we're gonna leave this guy alone but then we're gonna add four more now to the first thing we want to do is make sure we change the ID so I'm just gonna increment it by one so that's 114 115 
116 and 117. Okay. And the first one, I'm going to leave all of the meshes and the textures alone, but I'm going to change the color. So let's make it whatever color your favorite color is. Go ahead. But I want mine kind of red. Perfect. And I'm not going to change this hole. This is like the, this is the, the collision mesh again, um, which is pretty complicated collision mesh, which is probably a reason a lot of these blocks add lag. When you put a rubber duck colliding the world because it has so much point collision, it creates a lot of lag. I wish they just, just make the rubber duck as cube. Who cares that it like doesn't collide right? I don't know. Just make it a cube. Anyway, that's another time, another saying. Um, so this, we've got 114 is going to be red. And I don't want to, I want to make this one way two. Uh, two. Yeah, two is a good weight. Then I'm going to make another one, 115. It's going to be, a, it's going to be red, but it's going to be a little bit darker. So let's try like four, four. All right. And that one I will make way four. The next one will also be red, but it'll be darker yet. So let's try like that. And that one will weigh something like, uh, should we do six? Now let's do eight. And then the last one will make even darker. So we went from eight to maybe B's. And if you don't know hex, then don't worry about that. But And then make this way 16. And we'll save that and go ahead and open up Scrap Mechanic again. So what I should see now is I should have five horns in the in the GUI. Uh, horn, the default horn, and then a red one, a darker red, darker red, and really dark red. And they all have different weights. So let's go ahead and load game. Actually, I'm going to create a new game. Creative, uh, let's call it Golf, and make it Terrain World, and hit Create. Hope they don't crash. <laughs> if it crashes, you probably have an issue with commas or you didn't type something right. Just go look at your, your file. And let's go look at our GUI. And you can see we've got a bunch of um, issues here. I can actually fix that, but let's not worry about it. Oh, and I'm actually... Oh, that was silly. I made them brighter. I said darker. I, made, I meant brighter. Let's go ahead and get these on here. I'm going to need... I don't need that. Don't need that... So I'll take my sledgehammer and let's take a, those two blocks. I need a button and then let's get our four horns. Let me actually fix that really quick. If I go to um, database, no, not database, uh, data, GUI, uh, inventory, item descriptions. And I make a copy of, let's see, what were the blocks that we added? We added 114 through 117. So let's come down here and find 113. Where are you? And I'm going to make a copy of that. Actually make four copies. And so I have 113, 14, 15, 16, and 17. And I can change this thing. So I'm going to call this one Light Golf Ball. And... Let's get rid of all the descriptions here. Um, that's fine. I don't need to change any of this. Actually, I'm going to make it really red. Dark red. And let's say that this is ways. Okay, copy that. Let's just copy this part. I'm going to paste that down to all four of them. And you guys will see what <laughs> you can probably tell what's happening. Um, so we've got a light golf way. Or let's say really light. <laughs> light, medium, and heavy. 
And this was weight 16. This was, these are just text fields, so it really doesn't have any effect on the game, but it's kind of to, to show people in game what it is. All right, and hit save on that. One more place we need to go, guys, is if same GUI folder, open up iconmap.xml. And remember, we added 113, so let's copy that and change this to 14. And this is basically, show, it has like a bunch of icons and this is like the location of the icon for the horn. So we're gonna use the same horn icon for, um, for 14 through 17. Now, if we open Scrap Mechanic, we should see everything good to go. We've added four new blocks to the game. So we basically, we are now modders. If you followed along on this tutorial, you are now officially a modder of the game. Congratulations. And there we go. So now we've got four horns. And if we look at these, you can see we've got a red one, oops, a pink one, a really pink one, <laughs> and kind of a white one. Different horns. Isn't that awesome? What can we do with this? Well, let's look for a target. How about we aim for that big guy there? I've got some nice trees. And we'll... Is there a good fairway? Yeah, this is good. I think from the top of the hill will be fine. I'm going to go ahead and set up a T. And uh, actually, let's put a block here. And then we'll put our um, block that we want to hit. Let's do it. Another one tall. And I want to go a long distance. So I'm going to use the lightest one, which is the dark red one. And then I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. So now it's ready to be hit. We'll go ahead and aim at that guy. And bam. There it goes. Pretty good shot. <laughs> oh, it actually rolled. Whoa, it's still rolling. It's like way over there. Now, the problem is with this game is it's really easy to lose your ball. You know? And that's one of the reasons I'm using a horn, because I can take advantage of a glitch that we reported a couple videos ago. Put down your, your block, then put down a bearing, then put a block, then put a bearing, then put the ball you want to use, and delete. Well, first put a button on the bottom, wire that button to the ball, and then delete this one. Now, that's no longer connected, but it is connected with a line, so that if I hit this... I get a line drawn exactly to where my ball is. Now, sometimes this line glitches out um, over a really long distance. Uh, our ball, oh, there it is. Sometimes if your ball falls through the world as well, you have problems. But yeah, as you can see, this makes it so much easier to find exactly where your ball is. My ball landed in the cornfields. Okay, so there's my ball. And let's see, I don't need as big of a shot this time, so let's go with uh, the other... The smaller shot, so we'll go with the, that one, the pinker one. And again, we'll put our button down and attach it. Oops, I think I missed a bearing here. Hold on. Okay. Why is it? There we go. And delete that again. Aim and fire. All right, did we make it? Where are you? Where are you, line? I went through it. Yep. <laughs> Sometimes the balls just go glitch right through the world. And we ended up on the other side. Interesting. <laughs> That's going to be a tough, tough hit here. So let's see. I'm going to go up a little bit higher this time so I can get a higher shot. But do the same thing. One of you, one of you that guy and let's use this one well let's use this one we're kind of putting i guess so we'll use our putter and then a button all right let's see can we hit this thing ready set go Oh no, we hit the rocks. <laughs> cool. It's more like frisbee golf than golf. You just choose a target and then try and hit to it. But 
I really, I think it's cool. You, you have different color balls and you could even make four more and make them kind of green and or four more and make them blue. And so you could play multiplayer. You could add a bunch of horns to the game. I haven't tried this multiplayer. I think as long as everybody has the same data file as, as the server, then you guys, then you'll see the new blocks and all that kind of stuff. But I haven't tested that yet. Let's go ahead and put that there. Oops, is that going to work? No, it's not going to work. I want to hit one more shot. Oops. All right. Let's aim for that guy there. Since you can't change clubs, that's the whole reason I picked different weights of balls. So you can kind of kind of aim your shot for different distances. I don't even know where that one went. Oh, I think we hit. I think we hit the pole. I mean, that might be, that might count as good. So, let's get, let's give it a check. That's my game of golf, guys, based on changing weights of blocks. Um, if you want to follow along, just, you know, modify the files that I said. Make sure they look exactly like I have them. And uh, you'll be able to add, add things to the block, uh, the game. You'll be a modder. My next video, if you stay tuned and watch, is going to show you how to add custom blocks and custom textures to the game. Uh, really easily. There's a few more things you need to do if you want to add your own textures, um, but it's really easy as long as you know how to notepad and paint, you can probably do it. You know, it's that easy. So make sure you stick around for that. Um, if you like this episode, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Scrap Mechanic. Catch you later.